Hey, it's Emily. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> so I wanted to do this, uh, this video here and kind of show you guys. This is a uncrossing and unjinxing spell. Um, this is for a client that um, basically has had a lot of bad luck. She owns a business. She's had a very successful business for many years. But unfortunately, her business has been going down the tube financially. <clears throat> and I think a lot of people don't really understand what being crossed up or being jinxed is. So I want to talk about that for a minute. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm getting over a cold. It won't go away. Um, so being crossed or being jinxed, there's kind of a plethora of things regarding that. So it's kind of, it, it's a general bad luck in some ways. And some people might say you're cursed. Not necessarily. Okay. Um, but if you're having regular bad luck for an extended period of time in hoodoo, they call it being crossed or being jinxed. And basically some of the symptoms that could be happening are perhaps you lose your job. Maybe you get into a car accident. Maybe your car breaks down and you have like a $1,500 bill on your car. Maybe, um, maybe all of a sudden out of the blue for no reason, you have love problems. Like everything is fine. But then all of a sudden your girlfriend or your boyfriend is like, I hate you. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm leaving you. <clears throat> that can happen too. Um, health issues. Unnatural health issues, believe it or not. If you start becoming very depressed, very anxious, very uh, confused, that can actually be very scary. Um, another thing is... Um, just like weird accidents, hurting yourself, um, falling down, stubbing your toe all the time. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. You're like stubbing my toe. Yeah. Like running into shit and just like, just like stupid things, you guys. But if it's happening repetitively, then this could very well mean that you're crossed. You're jinxed. Okay. So my client, I already have this spell already because I wanted to have it ready for you guys. <clears throat> and I have a lot of people that ask me how to do a petition. So I have the petition already made up, but I'm going to show you how to do this one. And I already have her name here. Um, I'm going to show you everything that I used as well. So these candles, this is actually a reversing candle. And let me explain to you about this. A lot of people think that reversing is only to reverse evil to a sender. That's not necessarily true. You can reverse <clears throat> bad shit that's happening to you away. So that's what I'm doing with this. I'm reversing the bad things that are happening to her away. These are also some reversing candles. <clears throat> One of them is for negativity. And this is actually for um, her emotions. I get, I get these candles from Shadow Scapes Candles. I can put it in the caption if anyone is interested. <clears throat> Dennis Baham. Thank you. I am real. I like you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not here to bullshit here. I'm here, I'm here to tell you what's up, you guys. So listen, um, let me just tell you what I did. Okay. These are the oils that I used. I used, um, obviously some uncrossing oil. 
I used some Jinx Killer because I wanted to hit it from both sides, right? I used some Reversing. I used some Devil's Shoestring Root Oil. And um, Devil's Shoestring is really good. And I'm going to actually show you guys what some Devil's Shoestring looks like. I bet you guys haven't seen it before. It's a very rare. It's not that rare. A lot of people don't have it. It's hard to get. <laughs> um, and I also use some Dragon's Blood. And the reason for that is because Dragon's Blood pumps your work up. And it's, it's a power oil. So I used all of those oils. <clears throat> and then I dressed them with some Van Van, some Uncrossing, and some Fiery Wall Protection. Because what I want to do is I want to protect this poor girl. She's having a hard time. <laughs> when we did our spell consultation, I mean, she was almost near tears. And she's in a um, a bit of an, an a bit of an entertainment business, kind of, and she does competitions. And she's like really good at what she does. And she's a teacher. And um, but she has just been having some very bad luck for a very long time. I want to show you guys what this devil shoestring looks like. This is devil shoestring right here. Um, this is, you can't really find, like you can't get this at Mountain Rose Herbs. You can't get that there. Um, it's just kind of like a long stick. Um, that's what it looks like. So the herbs that I used that are very specific for unjinxing and uncrossing, <clears throat> lemongrass, big time, right? Nettle leaf, hyssop, agrimony, and lemon balm. I can write those in the caption every time I get comments. It is a root. It's a root. <clears throat> so just so you guys know, Herbs for hoodoo can either be roots, seeds, or they can come in a form like, you know, an, like an herb form. So, um, so it's like herbs, seeds, roots when you're dealing with, um, you know, using any sort of uh zoological um <clears throat> like when you're garnishing a um uh, a spell so they're they're all considered to be herbs but if it's a root it's a root and if it's a seed it's a seed you know what i mean like mustard seeds flax seeds <clears throat> those aren't it's it's not really an herb but it's still something that can be used in hoodoo. It's kind of, it's a little, it's a little confusing. But anyways, um, so I put all those down there and I didn't want to put too many because what can happen with these candles is, and I've seen it happen so many times, is as the candle starts to burn down, the, the roots and everything will catch fire. Um, okay, so let me show you quickly here how to do this petition. Because a lot of people ask me, how do you do a petition? How do you do a petition? Now, let me show you something that makes me very happy. I was at Staples, and these were on sale. Um, <clears throat> using color in your petitions is going to pump up your, your work. Okay, color transmits energy. So I got some new ones because my Sharpies were starting to get kind of funky. You know, the tip was starting to get kind of funky. So I used these on a grocery bag because I wanted to use the thick ones. I've already done this one. I'm going to show you how to do this one. Here's her name. You can't see it. Now, we are trying to take this away. We want to take it away from her. <clears throat> so what are we going to do? We're going to turn it to the left right? Because we don't want this shit. If we wanted it, we would turn it to the right. So what I'm going to do, I did her name seven times. 
I'm just going to write seven times over her name. Uncross. Unjinx. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Believe it or not, doing a petition is actually a little bit of an art in order for you to make it look right. This is actually going to be done two times. I'm going to show you why. Uncross, unjinx. That's it. Not a big long sentence because that's all we want. Uncross and unjinx to this person. We're not uncross, unjinx because her life sucks and she has a lot of problems. No, 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 no. It's just uncross, unjinx. That's it. Now, we did that, right? Now I'm going to turn it to the left again. And I'm going to write over it again. Uncross, unjinx. Uncross, unjinx. Why am I doing this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uncross, unjinx. Uncross, unjinx. Don't worry about making your handwriting perfect. As a matter of fact, in a petition, the handwriting looks kind of fucked up. That's fine. No problem. Uncross, unjinx. Last one. Uncross, unjinx. Okay, this is what the petition looks like. <clears throat> Can't really see what's going on, right? Um, you know, there's a little bit extra here. If you want to do a little, if you want to do a little trimming, go ahead. Um, now, the other thing you want to do is you want to take your, I'm going to take my uncrossing. And I'm going to do the five spot with it. Okay. What you're doing with that is you're setting. You are setting. It's basically like saying, it's like putting an exclamation point on the petition. That's what it is. People have asked me that before. They're like, why do you do that? That's why you do it. You make a five spot. Like a die. One, two, three, four, five. See how I did that? Just like that. Right on top of it. One, two, three, four, five. Now, um, these are already done. These are completely done. They're ready to light up. Now, um, obviously, this is something that we want to get rid of. So you're going to fold the petition away from you and you're going to turn it to the left. And then you would fold it away from you again. Um, because of the candle, I don't like to make it smaller than this because what happens is the candle will start to topple over. So, um, like I would put that underneath the candle and, See, as you can see, even there, I would actually, I'll probably put a little bit of wax underneath it. I'll light a little bit of wax underneath it um, just to stick it there. Um, and I'm going to bring these together and I'm going to use this petition for both of them. So that is, that is basically it. This is, these are, this is how to do um, an uncrossing and an unjinxing. Um, you know, obviously you need to have proper candles, you need to have proper oils and all of that. And, you know, I was kind of letting you guys know about some signs and some signals of what the hell could be going on if in fact you are crossed up or you're jinxed. Um, this is, this is a service that I do offer. It's very scary if you're crossed up or you're jinxed because you don't really know what's going on. Um, if you're just feeling very confused, depressed, anxious, um, if you're not able to focus on things, you're not able to concentrate on things, 
And this is if it's happening for an extended period of time. If your luck is just bad, if you're having money issues, if you were like a gambler and then all of a sudden you're losing, you're not winning anymore. Um, God forbid, I hate to say this, but like if your animals are sick, if, if any of your animals die, that's a horrible thing to say, but it's true. Um, things like that, that could be something as well. Those are all signs and, and um, symbols, okay? Okay, I always used to say this and I haven't said it recently, but I need to say it. Um, you know, you've got to put love into your work, you guys. Um, you've got to use, you know, you, it's in your mind. You've got to get your expectations right. And it's in your hands. You've got to use the tools that you, that are available to you. And it comes from your heart. You know, it's in your mind your and your hands. And that is how you get um, positive, positive intention. And that is how you get positive results with your work, even if you're doing breakup work. Because chances are you have a positive intention right? Um, there's a positive reason why you're doing it, but you have to do it with love. If you don't do your work with love and there's not a, a love behind it, it's not going to come out the right way. And it's not going to come out the way that you want it to. And if that doesn't make sense, then put a comment or something, but it's, it's really the truth. And that's how I practice my work all the time. So it's always a pleasure to be with you guys. And, um, I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for being with me. Take care.